everybody, welcome back to my channel. Feels weird saying this because it's been a while. But I am filming again because I got another box box. Yes! Okay, so this is the Influencer Blossom box box. I actually got the Carefree box 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 before, but I, for some reason, didn't feel like filming the video. Actually, my friend had the camera, so I'm just like, eh, don't need to film it. And then I got an email from Influencer saying, hey, we would love to see a video. So I already opened that, but after I open this box box, I'll do, be doing a review on what I got in that one, so it kind of makes up for it. So let's get started. Okay, now that it's open, I'll try to show you guys best I can. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is what it looks like. All this stuff. Um... First thing they have on here is a little card. Just has all the products they have in here. A little explanation of each, how much they cost, um, and stuff like that. Okay, and then, wow, we have a few things here. Then there's an eBay thing. Exclusive invite, earn $25 for being you. That's kind of nice. Um, here's a little coupon for their beanie toast. And they have some Beanitos chips in here, so I'll show you guys in a second. And hair food. Oh, this is kind of cool. $3 off a hair food item. Which obviously, they have a hair food item in here. So, let's get started. First thing I see is Beanitos, the chips. This is the one with sea salt. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty excited to try these. I've never tried, like, dark chips like this. I'm just stick with the normal lays and stuff. So we'll see how this goes. And then over here we have another one. Oh, this is kind of cool. The Chipotle barbecue black bean chips. So hopefully this is kind of a healthier alternative to regular chips. Then the next thing I see is a sample size uh, Sailing Hansen airbrush legs medium. So I'm guessing here directions. Squeeze a quarter size product into hand, smooth it on evenly to legs and feet, rubbing completely. Apply sparingly to knees and ankles. So I'm guessing this is kind of like a self tanner type item for your body. So it'll be interesting because I've never tried anything like this before. This is probably what I'm most excited for the hair food item. Here, let's see, it's all wrapped up in here. This is Root Cleansing Shampoo Infused with Strawberry Ginger Fragrance. Sounds delicious, and I would see if I can open it. Yes, I can. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells like a spa. It smells really good. I like it. Silicone free, paraben free, mineral oil free. Deeply cleanses hair to remove buildup. So I'm pretty excited for this, and this is a huge, I think, I don't know if this is the regular size, but it's big. This is gonna last me a while. So this is pretty cool. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this too. This is NYC City Proof 24 Hour. It's an eyeshadow. So when I saw that I was getting one of these, I'm like, yes! Because I haven't tried one yet, and it's going to be kind of interesting to see. It says it's waterproof. I don't know if I'm going to try out the waterproofness of it or not, but we'll see. I'm excited for this. It's just like a brown color. Let's see if it's in, oh, it's in Tribeca taupe. So it's a taupey color, I guess. Then I have the Australian Gold Broad Spectrum SPF 30 in sunscreen. And I don't usually wear sunscreen, even though I should. I really should wear sunscreen. <laughs> but I normally don't burn, and I know that's not an excuse, but I usually just don't put it on. But I'll give this a try and see how it works out. It smells good. So I'd be willing to put this on. It doesn't smell like regular sunscreen. Then I see Bare Naked Coconut Almond Curry. Oh, no. I don't like coconut, <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe I can't have a friend try this, or maybe my boyfriend, he likes 
coconut, so maybe he can tell me how it is and review it for me. But seems interesting. I don't know if you put this in yogurt or something. Uh, that's what I would do. I would put it in yogurt. It's like a, just a granola type thing. So there's that. And there's an. As this falls off. There's another one. Another bare naked item. Let's see. Caramel apples and sea salt. I will like this one. So. Let's see. Doesn't really tell us what to do with it. I don't know if you just eat it or if you actually put it in yogurt or something. I'm going to try it in yogurt and see how it goes because that sounds pretty good to me. But I have another one of these that I can actually try. Wow, they gave me a lot of stuff in this one. And then the... Ooh, it's actually squishy. It's interesting. Okay, so the last thing I have in here are noodles. And they're a different kind of noodles. Pasta Zero. And let me take this out. Struggle is real. Okay. So let's see. Pile it on without piling it on. So this has 15 calories, 4 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 1 gram of protein. And it gives you like a recipe on the back. The Medita Mediterranean pasta recipe and how to prepare it and stuff. It's optional, you don't have to prepare it this way. You can kind of do whatever you want. But it seems interesting because a lot of pastas I get, like they're hard when you get them in the box. These are soft and squishy already. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> It'll be a cooking experience, learning, learning. I can learn how to cook because <laughs> I can't cook. <laughs> but my mom can help me make these so. It'll work out. So that's everything I got in the Blossom Box Box, which is awesome. That's the most I've ever gotten in a box box. So thank you, Influencer. Oh, I forgot to say this. I received all of these products from Influencer for testing purposes. I have to say that. All right, now that that's over with. Now, on to my other box box. I was given the Carefree Box Box a little while ago, and I tested it out. The only thing I got in that box box, they were the little panty liners, the Carefree panty liners. Mine's already open because I tried them. But I thought they were decent. I want to say decent because I'm not a huge fan of panty liners. They're not my thing. But if I had to choose any, I think like they were comfortable enough to wear and I liked wearing them. And it didn't soak through or anything. It's getting personal. It's weird. But... They were good, <laughs> so I'm trying to say I like them. So if you like panty liners, you could go check them out. They're good. So I think, I think that is all for this unboxing video. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I will see you next time.